Okay, hello everybody. Um, yeah, welcome to the stream. I've got a few people from the crew already in uh, in the, the room. We've been doing a little impromptu call on uh, on the Discord with the crew and everything, but I thought I'd come live and just cover this price action. So if anyone else is here, uh, say hello. I think P is here, I think Senti's here, so. Hello, hello guys. Yeah, we've got a few others. In the chat about well. me, hey? Yeah, Hello, a few others. I, I wasn't sure. I I couldn't remember. If, I'd only just come back, and I just heard me and Luxury and um, Senti talking, and I was like, "Oh, it's Luxury." It's like a it. bunch, you know, of <laughs> people, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do. We've got we've got all of us in the in the chat today. So yeah, we're just going to cover price action, and looks like we're going to take these highs, like right now. <laughs> like so, right now. Like actually, right now. This is obviously just uh, me market buying, just so I can uh, make sure I get some price action on the screen. You know how it, how that works. But uh, yeah, so at the moment, I think Bitcoin overall, um, this was the level that we were looking at. So as soon as we did have that claim of the daily level, and this is what I went over on my um, morning update two days ago. So we've been in that range, and this is this was the target so we we claimed that was the first time we obviously wrecked people at the highs wrecked people at the lows then you come back you break out of this range you hold it for the first time and now this is just basically the next target up so I, although there has been a lot of confluence with other levels we've been looking at the 786 we've been looking at this down downwards um yeah, like the downsloping trend line that we've got here as well. Uh, we've had naked points of control within this region. There's a bunch of stuff. But overall, this weekly was a pretty significant level just from the high time frame horizontals. And it we're there, which is nice. So, yeah, in fact, we're, we're way through it now on this. It was a monthly PSC, wasn't it? That we came through, yeah. So for now, just monitoring price action. I think alts are looking really nice as well. A lot of opportunities coming up on the altcoins. And uh, yeah, everything bullish <laughs> so far. Is that someone in the... Yeah, just mute, Thug. How do I mute? Right click, mute. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Um, taking the high end tap in the weekly, yeah. <clears throat> I do think it's quite likely that we break through this as well. Like, if if we're this high up, if we may as well take the highs from back here. I guess actually that's quite a long way still to go. It's a lot further away than it feels at this point. Um, but yeah, significant level on the chart. On this, you've got your weekly level. This is the the real high time frame stuff going on now. So, got that move above the highs. There it is. So we have hit that weekly level. Do we get a rejection? Just have a look. <laughs> on. Now, CVD and the open interest is just going. Doesn't look crazy. like it so far. Yeah. That does not look like it. Like it'll take a bit of time, will it? <clears throat> and away we go. Just watch this. It's still yeah, it's still being being held up at the moment. Yeah, we've had a nice drop off and open interest from it. So I do think we probably, it, it, that's the thing at this point, you don't know 
if it's going to be a major pullback or not. But we've got some good volume at the highs. It's being held up here now. Uh, but with the drop off in open interest, I'd probably expect it to retrace again from this. There we go. Yeah. Cool. It was held up briefly. And now it's going back down. More just looking at this out of interest, I, I took a short, <clears throat> basically just hedged into a short as we came up into these highs earlier. And I've just sat, sat in a long position. I haven't even taken profit on my long yet. I've just chosen to, to take a short position as a hedge. And that is essentially what my take profit would be on that long. Like funding rates still negative. Okay, so you're, you're getting paid to be in a long position as well. So I don't really want to be reducing that long. And I've got a really nice entry. So if I do come to a compound, I want to already have a decent size long position there. But if I can add a short here, then that could probably pay for me to compound a long that is, well, from like here. So it's nice. Everything looking pretty good still. Um... <coughs> Altcoins holding up a lot nicer today than they were yesterday as well. So that's a good sign. Okay, some altcoins holding up a lot better than they were than they were yesterday. Some um, of them still. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. see people good still. Mm -hmm. So Bitcoin dominance is having a quite a nice move up recently. And that's yeah. why you're seeing most of the alts bleed against the Bitcoin pair. But I am looking at around this 44 a percent region to um, to act as some sort of resistance. And I think if you do get a rejection of that 44 region, um, uh, yeah. then you could be looking for the odds to have a quite a nice bounce back. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. That's exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking at on, on dominance. Like, I know you can't really TA Bitcoin dominance so much, but we had this, this cipher type thing playing out and... It works quite nicely, the TA. Mm. I think a lot of traders do look at the Bitcoin dominance. Yeah. And I think that's why it fulfills itself mm. in terms of the TA. What is it? Who's that okay. now? Uh, El Green Girl. <laughs> that was a baby in the background, it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a future time. trader right there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, all right, let's have a look in the chat. So Binance still massively short. Yeah, that's that's generally what's going on with, with negative funding across the board. There's probably a lot more people shorting this than there are taking longs that would that's why we've got negative funding. Price prediction for tomorrow. <laughs> let's have a look. Price prediction for tomorrow. I'm gonna say we do pull back. I reckon tomorrow night will be around 50,800. Even if we take these highs, I do think we'll pull back and we'll put it in a range here. And then at this this point, this will be an important. Like we've got the rest of the week to, to close above this weekly. It's not essential that it does it now. So maybe we get... Um, yeah, move up to take these highs, then come back in and then just chop around this area for a while. That might be quite nice. Do something like it did over here. But yeah, we'll see. It's been a much more organic move up this time than it has been on other other moves recently, which goes along with what we saw out of the, the 29k lows where we had that really impulsive move up and then everything else after that was quite organic so not really creating any single prints i don't think there's been any single prints created from this has there yeah, yeah a little bit yeah fifty thousand eight hundred tomorrow night i think it has a bit of a pullback i'm not not looking at it going up in a straight line i think fifty thousand eight hundred ish would be enough to make it like a difficult dip to buy because 
it's not it's not very low. There's not a lot of confluence here as well. I wouldn't want to see it, I wouldn't want to see it changing market structure and taking out these lows at this point. So I think 50k becomes important now. Although 50k is always important. We'll see. That that that'll be my prediction for tomorrow night. Fifty thousand eight hundred. Um, BTC is always in the golden pocket, so maybe it is also in the golden pocket, so maybe a pullback. I yeah, we've we've been here before though, so I'm not looking at this as a second test of it as being too important. The macro golden pocket thing. I mean, this is a second test of it. Uh. What are your take profit targets on your long? I don't know. I'm just gonna I think I just wanna let this one run. This is a swing long position. I'm just gonna let it run and, and trail my stop loss. On for this particular long position. I'm sure I'll have other opportunities to get into a long position. But for the one that I have from down here which is my main swing long position, I don't see any reason why I would even really take profit on that. I think this is just, I can I can start to use another account if I spot another opportunity. So if we do get a pullback, I could maybe take that on another account or something. Um, yeah, overall, let's say, let's say $180,000. <laughs> might take profit on this long position. <laughs> let's, let's go for it. I don't know. We'll oh, see, I wouldn't yeah. complain. <laughs> yeah, we'll see where it goes. I agree. Prices, right? yeah. prices are a long way from my entry. So I'm sure it is the same as you and a lot of other people. Yeah. Yeah, let this ride. Yeah. At this point, if, if price comes in and stops out my long position, like, we're, like <laughs> the whole market's wrecked. So I, there's no point. There's literally no point in this. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure I'll spot the signs earlier on, so I'd be able to get into a short position that would pay for that to get stopped out. So, no, like I'm, I'm so chilled on the market right now. I've been for a while. Even down here, it was nice. It was just like, yeah, it's fun. It's good trading. And yes, Luke, do you rely heavily on exochart? Uh, I, I don't rely on it. I could trade without it. I like to use it for additional analysis and um, like getting confluence and confidence in, in a trade. So looking for any confirmation or knowing when might not be a good idea to enter. So Exochars is really good for knowing when is not a good time to enter because if you're seeing, often you see levels that just get blasted through. And you have open interest and Delta and everything just following the move through it. And you're just like, okay, maybe I was looking at this as, a, as an opportunity to take a scalp against the trend, but I want to stay out of that because there's no real reason for me to, yeah, be looking at um, wanting to, to scalp that move. Like on this occasion, you did have that nice drop off on open interest that we saw as we took the highs, which would just show to me that okay it's likely we get a little pullback so if you did want to take a scalp off of that if you come into an area like this would probably be a take profit it's a tiny little scalp it might lead to something more but whereas earlier on and again actually earlier on you had the same thing uh yeah salad profile is real alpha <laughs> Farhan's comments get like I'm sure I'm sure when Farhan of oh, Farhan because I can remember I had problems with <laughs> your name your name on YouTube previously and gener generally 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 <clears throat> the comments were normally pretty sensible and now they just salad profile and talk about that I don't know the fuck is salad <laughs> profile <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit of it's salad nice. profile with the balsamic vinegar, you know. Yeah. Fucking, that's the plus out. You know, alpha right you know, now. I don't know much about salad, you know, so I cannot say anything. Yeah. 
But yeah, but by the way, come on, guys, you should hit the likes, you know. Yeah, hit the Just likes. Thirty-one, everyone. you know, it's like, come on, seventy people watching at the moment, and no likes. <laughs> so, so I saw a Twitter post earlier today about some guy who bought a house, yeah. and paid for it by collateralizing a loan. So he t- collateralizes a loan against, it, I think, like half a million. Mm. Uh, he buys the house. And so now he has to pay interest on his loan using one of the DeFi platforms or whatever, right? But somehow he's earning interest on that on that collateralized. So he's using he's technically using the interest to pay off his loan. So basically he's getting his house for free. Oh, nice. How fucking crazy is that? <laughs> you get you like you buy a car and you get paid to have your car, basically. It's, it's well, I, insane. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because if you're that's, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's fucking five head, and that's the future, dude. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I need to look into that. <laughs> like, actually, yeah, I I, <clears throat> I won't talk about that on on stream. <laughs> yeah, go over that again. <laughs> so it, it would be so you take out a loan because with crypto loans you can get you can get the loan and then you can you can essentially stake it to gain interest on that whilst you're with the loan that you've taken yeah on on usdt for example you can get easily 10 percent. so then you could pay a mortgage off of that account yeah well you can technically buy anything you want and you just yeah. pay it off yeah <laughs> 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 That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's it. so much stuff you can do with DeFi. It's insane. Yeah. Like, and a lot of people don't like realize the power of it. Like, yeah. even me, like, I don't know half the, or even 80% of the shit that you can do with it. Yeah. But it's definitely the future. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think no that thinks to think that way because you're just used to the banks taking everything. That's it. Paying, yeah. for, paying for them to hold your money, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah the thing is i still yeah there's still an element of like i I'd, I'd still feel pretty like scared to do that i think um there's an element of trust which is weird and that's the thing there's an element of trust with the bank with banks that you just you, what happens if a if you're you've taken out a loan with say this DeFi company and they exit scam or rug pull what happens then yeah exactly. it happens it happens so and because but, it's not there's no regulation here so but that's the future isn't it doing it oh, through a smart contract yeah. no but doing it through a smart contract so nobody's in control of it it's yeah, yeah. It, an algorithm in control of it yeah then you yeah, don't oh. need to trust anybody yeah and also, it's not worth the the risk for for an electric car. You know, if it's something else, something fun, at least. Yeah, you know, so, I was, okay, I will take the risk. <laughs> I was involved in a project back in twenty eighteen, <clears throat> so after the last crypto cycle, and that was basically what it was. It was, it was DeFi before DeFi really existed, and we were thinking of ways to actually make it happen. So we had meetings and stuff. Nothing really came from it, um, but I think it it then turned into a company in america that's called digifox um so but it was myself and a a couple of other youtubers back when i did youtube phase one of youtube back in 2017 um yeah we got involved in like a project that was like that and it was basically like a lending circle with friends and things and um there's a smart contract that just controls the whole thing and people can vote on so you put in money into a pot basically and you can people can then apply to take money out so it's like if someone's struggling and you've got it within a circle of friends or with family or something like that and it's always like borrowing money from family which can often lead to yeah being really risky because family members often wouldn't pay you back because i mean they're family um but yeah there was smart contracts and stuff involved in all of that as well it's, it's mad to think that yeah that that kind of stuff we were talking about that in like 2018 and it's now all happening now it's just crazy i mean imagine it right you put your money in the bank right 
the bank lends out your money. They make money from lending your money out. And to keep your money in the bank, they pay you literally nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like daylight yeah. robbery. It's been going on for God knows how long. It is. It, is. it actually is. Mm. God, everything. Let's take a look at some... What trades did I take yesterday? The ICP, Doge. <clears throat> how are they doing? Oh, Doge hit the target. And I believe if I look over here and look at Doge, Doge target. It's in that region. So we're close enough. Uh, ICP. Don't know why ICP is down the bottom here. ICP is still doing well. It's another trade we took yesterday. Um, comp hasn't yet had that move. EOS. Oh. EOS kind of did okay. Uh, comp not yet, but actually that looks quite nice. This one looks good. Yeah, they're quite okay. Yeah. I'm still uh, in, a, in a long position there. On band? Uh, no, no, I oh, CP, sorry. Oh, right, yeah. I was going to say, I didn't know you'd taken a position on band. Quite like the look of band, actually, holding, holding the weekly for the first time in a while. Nice little SR flip of this. <clears throat> Um, yeah, Cozy. Oh, this is so close. This is playing out quite nicely. Is Cardano still moving down? I really hope so. Yes. Oh, sh shit. <laughs> Why did I, did I not have an alert here? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Cardano has literally just hit like the the mega mega level oh i'm glad i saw that i mean that's close enough <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's just open that um oh don't bounce yet come on i'm sure i had oh i had an alert on the daily that's why i haven't had it set off yet but we've hit the one to one. <clears throat> We're a few sats away from the daily. May as well. Let's do it. Let's uh, just mark it in on this. Okay. Um. I want to do this on uh hold on Bear with me a second, everyone. It's, it's difficult doing this. All my screen is... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I'm in. And now I can take it on another account as well. Pro Trader. I've been waiting how long for this to get hit on Cardano since the 18th of August. <laughs> so
So, I mean, if I've been waiting since the 18th of August for this, then that's a pretty good trade to me. And this is this will be a swing. Uh, Ennis, I've bought, so this is a spot trade on Cardano. So I've bought spot. I'd previously sold my whole spot position um, back up at the highs up here. So I'd, I'd sold everything. Actually, I'd, I'd sold everything. It was around, I think it was this high. I didn't, I didn't get it on this one. But this is just getting back into a spot position on this because I do... It trades really nicely and like you got the speed fan here as confluence, you've got your 618, you've got your daily, you've got your one to one. There's a bunch of stuff all within this area. It all looks really nice. So yeah, it might it might dip a little bit lower, but this is where I, I want to be. I basically want to be entering in from here down to about here on Cardano so if it comes any lower I'm happy with that so this is a spot position and I'm also just going to take a, a USDT leveraged position on this as well just for why not <laughs> why not it's a bit of fun um so first of all I need to find that ADA A little bit. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> hi mate. First time watching you from Kent. You sound same sort of way I say sapling geezer. <laughs> yeah, I I do. I live in London slash Kent, so yeah, not far. Let's see what happens with this one then. Cardano trade is done. Um, there were others that I was looking at as well. Acro still looking a bit lower. Aave. Ah, I really want this box. I really want it to come down here and take out. Let's just put an alert here on Aave because I would like to get back into an Aave position. But after putting in this kind of range it would just be so nice for it to take the lows on the BTC pair. Band looking good. Uh, Coty. Again, I have an alert set for this. We're still looking a bit lower. CTK, I want to see it reclaim that level. Crypto Prince, you didn't just liquidate your account. <laughs> I mean, how could you just liquidate your account? It's lit like it hasn't pulled back. So <laughs> don't scare me like that. I need to go through the rest of these alts. I only got halfway through them yesterday. And yes, I bought spot ADA <clears throat> because I would like to hold a position in this for the rest of the bull run and this is the first time I've seen a really nice opportunity to get back in on a spot position on this and then I have also taken a leverage position on it a small leverage position because I do think we see a Bitcoin pullback tomorrow and the the Cardano trade is more of a swing one so see how the swing one goes Files looking nice as well. There's a lot of stuff looking really good. Damn, files looking really good. 
probably too late on that. FLM. GRT. Is it going to take the lows? This is what I really want on GRT. So again, if GRT can sweep these lows, I will be buying it. And that will probably be the first time I've ever taken a long position on GRT. I've only ever shorted it, I think. Yeah, GRT looks nice. GRT has always been a funny one because people have people get so bullish on it. Um, well, recently they've had some fundamental like shittiness. Like, have they? The developers released, I think, like I don't know, but like many millions of coins into circulation, right? Which pissed a lot of people off. That makes sense. I guess that justifies. That's the thing. It's down what eighty percent from its highs. So I'm sure they haven't released four times as many coins as exist. So it still looks good. Yeah, no, it looks good in that era. Mm. It's like comp. Um, you was, was it you that was saying yesterday about comp? How it? Uh, yeah, they had an issue with the with the fucking contracts. Yeah, <clears throat> so it's nice to buy stuff that's fudded down. It's good. VWAP yeah. Fib, GRT. Yeah, I see in this VWAP Fib um, saying GRT, don't do it. Most underwhelming performer out there. Ah, but that's because we're looking for these lows. Those who know are waiting. <laughs> so if it's underwhelming, then um, just just wait. Just wait until it takes the lows, yeah? I, I bet we get a nice bounce after that. And I will be taking a long position on it. When that happens. H and T, nothing really useful there. Oh, these headphones are annoying me. So one bad thing about streaming with other people on is I have to wear headphones. Um, oh. Otherwise your your voice comes through my speakers and there's an echo. You just need a directional mic then. I do. But it still picks it up. Carver. <clears throat> uh, like, I mean, it's not a lot. It's just like a little. It sounds like you're in a stadium or something. Just it, My mic just picks up a little bit. Yeah, I get it. I'm going to head off now, everyone. I mean, I'm not sure you even realize I'm still here, but... <laughs> that's right any any passing parting thoughts before you go parting luxury, thoughts. Or... uh i wouldn't long here but <laughs> would i short here if i had to take a trade yeah um nice but yeah basically i share your thoughts so there's no need for me to echo them but yes looking good yeah um, yeah i think yeah, as long okay. as we see her yeah yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Later, luck. I'll catch everyone in the morning. See you. All. See you later. Uh, can I have a quick look at Teller? Yes, I can in a minute. Um, <clears throat> far and again, what is a dead cat bounce? I'm not even going to answer your questions anymore. I know you know what a dead cat bounce is. Uh, Aaron, what happened with BTC dropping or am I just jumping off the Hartford Bridge? I mean, we've had a pullback. That's about all I meant by BTC dropping and I do think we've probably come down within this region down here at some point. It's not a big pullback. I'm not expecting a massive rejection. We shall wait and see. KNC, this looks a good chart as well. Isn't Kyber Network, they've had some really interesting stuff recently, I think. Kyber Network, what's going on with them? I don't know if they've been flooded. Uh... 
Hmm. Interesting fact about Kyber is it's the least correlated asset with Bitcoin <coughs> in crypto, or it was. Really? Yeah. It's so strange. Yeah, so it's the one the one asset that it tends to move it's always moved against what the rest of the market has done generally. Is there a reason so, for that? I'm not sure. Yeah, not really sure. But I, I can remember I I don't I don't remember what the details were, but I just remember seeing a chart once and Kyber Network was the least correlated asset to Bitcoin in the out of any alt. So maybe I shouldn't take a long here. Or maybe I should, because I am expecting a slight pullback. Hmm. <laughs> Aaron, call that a pullback. Mate, I'm selling the range, waiting for 22k. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Wait, he's waiting for 22? <laughs> I think... Yeah, I'll see you at 100k, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a, here's a bit of a move down, I think. Yeah. Here's your move to 22k, right? KNC goes onto the watch list. I'm not ready to enter into that yet. Um... Lina. Nice. Link. Someone asked for Link, didn't they? I think. Link looks good. Link can go on the watch list. Lit. Uh... Oh, Litecoin! If it takes these loads, that'd be that'd be fun. I'm gonna get to this Trello in a minute. Someone asked for. Uh... Wait. Yeah, Link looks really good. It looks really yeah. good in a Bitcoin pair as well. Yeah. <laughs> Ocean looks interesting. I'll keep an eye on that one. I'm going to keep an eye on Neo as well. What is... Did I draw this? I wonder when I drew this. <laughs> I don't remember drawing this. I'm wondering if I drew this like ages ago and it's it's followed this well. Wow. I'd have to find out when I actually drew that on the chart. I wish it would give you dates of when you drew stuff. I must have drawn it back here. It must have been in hindsight. Just explaining something. Um... Uh... <laughs> I've been following Benjamin Karen for about eight months. Just want to afford to get Venus and, and get on Love Island. <laughs> Actually, ONT is one as well that looks very interesting. Is that oncology, ONT? Yeah. I think it's it look it's completely beaten up, but I'm putting that on my watch list as well because that's the kind of thing that if it starts to show a bit of strength, it's down like ninety nine point nine percent or something from its highs.
I mean, yeah, it basically went to zero. 90, yeah, it's down 99% roughly from the highs on that. Uh, Qtum, that's another one that's been dead for a while. Qtum was like the Thai Neo or something, wasn't it? I'm talking about on the reef. Uh, RSR's doing good, so we had to have had that support on the monthly. Has breaking out at this level. Looking up towards the weekly on RSR now. Raven. Not quite sure what that line is. Been a while since I've done TA on that. Uh... So are these particular coins, like these Raven, are these only available on uh, Binance and Hubboy? <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm just going through the Binance list. I I yeah, they're not on Bybit and stuff, I don't think. A lot of these. Just a bit more selection to take these on, on futures. Uh, I've started looking at KuCoin futures as well, because KuCoin have much more, much nice more selection. Like fun, yeah, nice selection on there. But I think I'll start having a look at that when things get going, because a lot of the projects on there are almost too new for me to have enough history to trade off of yet. On my watch list. TRB. Watch list. TRX. I guess. B chain, yes, I know that's looking good. XLM is looking good. There's so many. My watch list is getting too long. Oh. Where did I draw this on XRP as well? Oh, <laughs> that was me <laughs> yesterday telling everyone not to long Tezos and what has happened. We've had a 10% move down on Tezos. So I did my duty there. Uh... Wi-Fi looks good. All right, once I'm through this list, I I just have stuff on my watch list then that I can go over. I just haven't done this for a while, so sorry. This is really boring. <laughs> when he's watching, um, yeah, yeah. And Trello, people are asking for Trello. Is it Trello? Teller. Teller, I guess. Oh, oh no, TRB. Yeah, I've looked at that. TRB, that one onto my watch list. So that one is... Who was it that asked about TRB? Or Teller, or whatever it was. I can't see it. Rory. <coughs> uh, 
I'm going to do some fresh tea on this one because this one looks nice and I haven't done any tea on this for a long time. So let's just take a look at this one. Okay, so you have that. I'll take it down there as well. All right. I can actually keep this room really simple and just say that green box is a region to accumulate. So if it can come down and take these lows and TRB BTC pair, then that whole area looks nice to me. I don't particularly need to do much more on that one. Uh, you've probably been, yeah, it's broken down from this as a trend. So that may have been holding it up. Let's look at the TRB USDT pair. Yeah, it's been such a long time since I've traded this. monthly levels they're being respected <laughs> you probably stick that daily on as a resistance Confluence. Um, whoops. Sometimes like in terms of like levels for some of these, this is all you really need to do. It's just knowing which of these high time frame levels to pick. The ones that have actually been getting respect. Um The anchor view up holding it down. Okay. So I'd imagine this one probably hold it down at the highs. Uh, yeah, kind of.
Cool. Uh, so TRB, I think I'd <coughs> I'd still quite like to see it come down into this green region again or reclaim this monthly level. So if price can reclaim this and alongside that, if price can get back above this uh, monthly level, then I think that would take you up to your next target. I'm not really seeing a big swing trade on this yet. I think it's still too early. But it certainly looks fairly low risk. Uh, w Benji, what's up, Luke? You're bullish. I'm bit, yeah. I think I've been, I've been bullish the whole time. Like, I mean, I'm trading it level by level, but I've always had the the idea that this would be one of those, yeah, two wave things. I I still think I still think crypto is poised to go higher with before we do see any major top on this. Um. And my targets are still kind of the same as they were earlier in the year. They've just been adjusted more on a, from a time frame basis. I reckon BTC dropped before it reaches any all time high. That won't be until two, Q1. <laughs> and I won't repeat what your second comment was. Uh, I agree with the first comment, maybe. <laughs> I hope it's a double bubble super cycle situation, but until these highs don't get taken, staying hedged out there, yeah. <laughs> and again, I won't, I won't read the second comment. Okay. Senti, you still here? Yes. Hello. Anyone else still here? I am. I didn't go nowhere. <laughs> good, good. Cool. Um, I've kind of done all the TA I want to do. Is there anything that's worth talking about? <laughs> We've covered everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's um, been pretty much wrapped up. Yeah. We've already spoken about the macro ideas, so I don't know if I want to go over those again. I know people in the comments on the chat are going over that. Uh, it's that stage of a stream where I'm starting to lag after an hour. It's generally, I, I can do an hour on stream and then I start to lag. My brain yeah. just gets fuzzy. Just call it then. <clears throat> yeah, I think I will. Always come back. Come back yeah. another day stronger. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, sounds good. But yeah, I'm I hope everyone out of battery as well. <laughs> mm. it, was, it was a nice impromptu little uh, stream. Yeah. Let's just have have a quick look. Uh Tim Gill, what do I do? Well, what did OI do on this move down? Flat. Every, yeah, very, very flat open interest, uh, at least on one exchange here. Yeah, overall, there's a bit of... I think it's just indecision at these highs. We, we know the market knows this is an area of resistance. <clears throat> and... Uh, Maybe we're just in one of those situations where we keep getting these little pullbacks and then it just floats higher and the little pullback, it floats higher, a little pullback and then it floats higher. It's really, yeah, just a wait and see kind of situation. Market structure is still bullish. Um, funding is still negative. There's no reason to be getting, in fact, funding is getting more and more negative with each kind of passing hour. <laughs> next level for me i mean if we break and hold 52k if say let's let's say we break 53k and then hold around 52 i'm looking up towards 58k yeah um, same i think that i'm looking about 57 to yeah. 58 in that region there mm -hmm. 
for any sort of resistance. Yeah. I think you teleport to that region pretty much. I think it's yeah. going to be fast. <laughs> yeah, it's like we did from, well, as soon as we held 48, uh, it, it was very quick to get up to 52. And that's that's like basically what I, ex what I expected. Um I think a lot of the market is now looking at the C point. So these highs here, if these highs get taken and back tested, yeah, and to see a lot of people either closing out of hedged positions, yeah, or getting into new positions. So you'll definitely see some volatility come. Yeah, that's that's almost like the last, the last bearish option, really, because we're back in that range after that. So swing failure of those highs and reject and then and then come back down or fail here and not take the highs. It's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's almost the last the last kind of chance for for bears, <clears throat> at least until we go in another say ten percent higher or something. Yeah, break the sixty one point eight and then you're looking up to realistically the eight eight six or the sixty one k. Yeah. So I'm yeah. looking at I'm looking at sixty one eight eight six retrace and then find some sort of resistance around that region there maybe a small pullback yeah before charging forward time highs mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like putting in a range around here wouldn't wouldn't be bad at all something between fifty two and sixty two ten k pullback I've seen them before so you could go big rejection start to consolidate and then we're going forward time highs probably going into towards the end of the year. Actually, the time scale looks nice for that as well. Just looking at that from a... Okay, I'm going to gonna carry on this for a little bit longer, actually, just because now I'm onto macro stuff and I'm going to do a random... something random. Um... I mean, this isn't anything... This isn't a fractal from anything, but for oh. <laughs> for time scale, <clears throat> you're looking at that takes us into December. So I may more more so just looking at time on this. And just seeing where, so actually you've got you got a lot of time left in this year for price to really do something quite drastic. So yeah, yeah let's see what happens. Let's put maybe move around here, come up into this area, pull back, do something else, and then we up at all time highs. A couple of months to do that. Okay. <laughs> the area that that fractal wasn't based off of anything technical, any reason for it at all. It was just like, oh look, that's a nice pullback that we've had in the bull run. <laughs> that's about it. Just to get the yeah to get the time scale on it. But yeah, anyway, I'm I am going to wrap it up there. I think everything. Of course, there's still caution, and you have to be aware of downside, but. I've been bullish. I, yeah, I'm. I'm still fairly happy and confident that this is going to go higher in time, even if we do see small pullbacks. So yeah, cheers everyone, and I will. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll, bye bye. If, if bullishness continues, I'll probably be on here again tomorrow. So <laughs> even if bearish.